y'all saw the elections tomorrow i am wishing you guys the best as a former texan y'all <laughs> i am praying for the best um of course a mexico no le conviene we're not excited about trump winning because it's gonna be a, a lot more expensive on us because of everything he's threatening to do but i can understand his his standpoint i know that you know it's a huge problem for all the people crossing through the border and not just for them you know um especially texas and all you know but for us too because we have a whole lot of people coming through the country right and um i think there was already something like no creo que una mañana like i don't know if it was this week this these past few days um they're saying that uh claudia i think she's gonna saying that she was gonna close this the southern border um with uh what is it uh guatemala right because we have a lot of people coming in and um she's like we're out completely like out of resources to help you know the like the people crossing through here because it's also expensive on us it's not just expensive on you guys so i can understand all this but at the same time y'all the racism is just out of control <laughs> as a believer to me honestly y'all gonna hate me for this but to me it's a little embarrassing y'all i could not this is just personally i could not you know people vote according to priority so you know people of faith you know that's their priorities to vote for whoever's the you know in favor and i'm not gonna say godly is because he is so far from that <laughs> but i guess you know they're just worried not not about him but about the laws that he's gonna be passing or whatever right so i can understand like why it's convenient to you know and then all the help you know to israel and all that like i can understand i'm telling you as a viewer i understand like i do understand um like all ends this is why i just i pray to god that um I am a little concerned um, about what's gonna happen specifically if like the Republicans lose y'all I think it's gonna get out of, just out of control hopefully not I'll come back tomorrow night and see what happened hopefully not y'all this is why I'm saying y'all let's just pray that everybody just comes together because look even if like okay let's say um Kamala were to win right and you're a believer and let's say you're completely against her for whatever whatever you have to respect, you know, that that free will. And I'm telling you as a Christian, we can't force people to do anything. I understand that you're standing up for rights, and I, I completely agree, and I, I, I understand, like, we should, right? But, you know, God also speaks on that free will. He's like, I said before, we life and death, right? So it's like, we got to choose, and you can't, there's a reason why people separated, you know, the, the church and state, and, um, you know, even like if you went to college, you, you took all these classes, like even here in Mexico, like we know that there's a reason for this. Like we can't just, you know, go back and I mean, I don't know. This is just me, right? You have to respect people's rights. And this is, I know that there's a limit to everything. I know that there's um sometimes like um one thing is to have rights and another thing is to impose. And also think this is why people are so angry. People that are voting, voting for Trump are so angry because, you know, um, the other side really has been just pushing a lot and it seems like they're both just pushing on on each end right and people are just kind of feeling like oppressed to choose a side and not everything's black and white you feel me it's not it's not so let's just pray to god that whoever does right um that we're able to work through it because if you've read on books about this i've read on books about this right on humanity um, there's even like a quote or something. Somebody says something like, um, "Oh, I hate humans, but I love humanity." It's a thing. Like it's it's a thing among like, like psychologists and all those these people that study like people, right? Like, populations. They say that, right? That there's, you're like, "Oh, I hate this person." You can say that you just don't like people. Like I'm, a, I'm a person that said that before. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I rather let's say go shopping when there's like nobody around. But um you love humanity because we all collectively somehow always come together and especially in hard and bad times you see all these groups coming together on each end because that's our nature to come together and make changes right so if we were to all just do that for the best like let's say whoever wins um i think that's where they failed like at the, the like the candidates to represent everybody and I feel like they're just representing like one, they're one-sided and it shouldn't be like that. Let's say, you know, um, you're Kamala, right? You have to also take in like us, the believers and like the people that 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 live for the faith, right? And that 
that's a concern to them too like give them something to hold on to and just like trump you know if you're in you know speak to the immigrant community and be like hey you know i'll make it a little easier for you um instead of letting all those people in how about you know all the people that have been here you know really just trying hard profesionistas people that have something to give because we all know dang well like they depend on all the immigrants they do they know that deep down to the core they know you know mexico y estados unidos están así como que bien así unidos o sea no hay manera en que uno sobreviva sino el otro la neta a lo mejor tú dirías que nos llevan ventaja porque el dólar gobierna mundialmente verdad y hablando de política de todo ese rollo but still it's like they heavily really like we're neighbors to them so they know that we all just gotta keep it cool you know and like stop being kids and like just sit down and be like okay y'all let's speak like adults like how can we all come together and like you know solve these things because i mean at the end of the day we're still on this earth every single day <laughs> you know that's just me but anyways y'all i pray to god um that everything goes good and todo está en las manos de dios y'all don't have fear anxiety none of that like i've been reading that online a lot like people are saying i'm afraid i'm anxious it's not now everything's gonna work out for the best because god is always in control that's for sure